Salutations, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to Borderlands 2. Gonna finish up the Cult of the Firehawk side quest. It is time for the Enkindling Young Torch. Time to sacrifice heathens to our blazing mother. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. So, thankfully, he gave us a fire weapon because I accidentally sold the fire weapon I had. These are the effigies. That could be very bad. Or it could be like a cookout or something. Just keep an open mind about it, you know? These guys aren't so bad. You have done so well, Torch. Once the enkindling is complete, we shall all receive our reward in the Firehawk's toasty bosom. The preparations are complete! Return to me, and let the human sacrifice commence! <sighs> okay, that sounds pretty evil. Just head to this enkindling thing. If things get creepy, I'll make an appearance. Be careful. Alright, so... Alright, enkindling's quite a ways away, so... Uh... Pfft. Thinking... Yeah, I gotta go through a lot of this area all over again. Excuse me, sir. So, I think what I shall do is... Uh, you know what, I'll just talk about the different weapon types here. Because I did mention like how I hated Hyperion weapons and stuff, and uh, how I kind of like Jacobs, so I'll just talk about that stuff, and uh, actually while I'm going along the way, I might as well just snipe these guys real quick. Alright, so that's another Totem Spire. So, uh, as you can see, it, whenever I swap to a different weapon, it'll do like little statistics, and at the very top, it'll have like, like, this is a uh, Jacobs. This is a Hyperion. This is a Maliwan. And uh, each each different uh, company has different kind of statistics based on their weapon. Right? Like, like uh, Jacobs, they do high damage, and uh, they always come with the tag of fires as fast as you click. So every time I fire the weapon, uh, that's me clicking. And uh, typically, that also means that they also do a lot of damage. So, <clears throat> got a little distracted by comment there. So, uh, that's that's Jacobs. Uh, they tend to make like uh, shotguns, assault, uh, pistols, sniper rifles, and uh, apparently new to Borderlands 2, uh, assault rifles. And assault rifles can be like like actual uh, rifles, or uh, they could uh, be uh, grenade launchers. And I think there's also like maybe a Gatling gun, but it takes it. It, go, it goes through so much ammo, so it goes through the ammo so quickly, and it has such a small clip size that it's. I don't even know why. So. All right, thank you for that. And, uh, so, the Hyperion, I don't like them because they start off really inaccurate. And then, as you fire more, you see how the crosshair got smaller? Yes, the longer you fire them, the more accurate they become. But that initial thing there, I don't really care for. What is that ass? Gosh. Thank you. Now, Maliwan, all of their weapons are always. Wait, what? They always have some sort of like elemental charge, and I think like they do the most elemental damage overall. 
so. We are definitely looking for a weapon that has like an elemental type doohickey for it. Mally wants your gay. Make, make what, SMGs, rifle, uh, sniper rifles, and uh, SMGs. And then you got uh, Doll. Is this one? I could have sworn that this guy right here was one. Uh, there's doll and uh, for them they they focus on the uh, the burst on zoom so if I was like zoomed in like this and I fire uh, they would actually do like a little uh, like a like a burst shots what the hey I just want right. I don't know what the dealio is but whatever I give up yeah I'm pretty good Which is fine and all, if like for like the uh, SMGs and uh, the uh, assault rifles that they do. But uh, like the sniper rifles, uh, like when you have a burst on zoom with a sniper rifle, I get a little iffy about that because it's like, uh, dude, you realize that this isn't a sniper rifle? I mean, it might work for say... I mean, it might work for a, uh, how shall we say, if, uh, like you're sniping a boss or something like that. Hi, sir. Sorry your, your speech got ruined by these jerk wads. Get right with you, sir. <coughs> oh boy. Grenade! Alright, there we go. But like like I was saying with the sniper of this. I don't really like that burst on zoom with a sniper rifle. But otherwise, doll's kind of okay. And then you got a. Uh, hold on. All right. So he's like, "You done good. Pull this lever and sacrifice the heathens, or some such." So let's do that. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> These fools taken from sanctuary are ignorant of the firehawk's majesty. Their lives are an abomination! Watch your eyes, killer. I'm coming in. Your goddess has arrived, and she's very disappointed. Vault Hunter, I'll get these civilians back to Sanctuary. In the meantime, smite these bitches. This cannot be true! Do not listen, <laughs> brother! <laughs> 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 Yes, kill each other. I can see the blade. Where are the other cultists? But yes, uh, as you saw, I picked up a, uh, a bandit, which uh, I think. The only thing a bandit gun has going for it is that it has a huge sacrifices back to sanctuary. Great job taking care of the cult. I tell you, man, being a god sucks. <laughs> we love your lives, Vault Hunter. Yes! Worship the Vault Hunter! Worship the Vault Hunter! Uh whoops. Uh come come on back. Yeah, the uh I think the bandit guns, I think the only thing they have going for them is they have a huge clip. Otherwise, all their other statistics are kind of like uh, garbage. Lower compared to like other companies. But yeah, see, Dahl, all their weapons will have the burst fire while zoomed. So, with a sniper rifle, I don't really see that as good. Unless, like, I guess you are fighting a boss and it's got like a huge critical hit bo box or something like that. Or maybe, 
I don't know. I never saw a real use for burst on zoom with a sniper rifle anyways. So that always aggravated me. It was like, oh, look at this sniper rifle with these cool stats and it's burst on zoom. And then like bandit, it's like I said, I think the only thing I ever saw with the bandit weaponry is uh, they have really massive weapon clips. Oh boy. And, uh, what was the other company for weapons? Uh, Vladoff or something like that? I think it was like, it started with a V. Vladoff or something like that. Um, nice thing about them is, uh, they have the best automated fire, fu uh, fire rate for automated fire. Yeah, why is that one working, but none of the other ones are? I don't know. So, like, with assault rifles and FSMGs, and I think they even make, uh, pistols as well and uh, sniper rifles like uh, like for I'll, I'll just fire the high pins like see how fast this fires a Vlad off would fire much faster much much faster so what other quests we got going for me here uh splinter group that's going to be right in here at the bloodshot stronghold torque that's another weapon company all torque weapons, no matter what, will cause explosions. Because why not? Because that's how Mr. Torque likes his weapons. They want to explode. So. Do I have anything in here? Oh, uh, sell. Yeah, see? See, look at this SMG. Magazine size, 64. Versus this Hyperion, which is just uh, 36, like almost half of it. So, kind of keep that in mind. So. Alright, so. This shouldn't take too long to get to. So. It's a bruiser! Hello, sir! I hope you don't mind your having a head in here. Hello there. How about no? Ah, uh, timer. How dare you work against me? Ah, uh, yes, I forgot about this side quest. That's here. I want to watch you die. Man, is it me or did the game just get super loud? I don't know. I've always had those kind of issues in this particular map. Uh, the volume just gets really loud. So, all right. Timer went off, so I'm just going to spend so, this point really quick. want to kick ass at next? Recharge. So. I'll go ahead and end it right here. The next quest and side quest I forgot about is this guy right here, which we'll get to next time. But there's also the Splinter Group, which I'm going to do first. So, for right now, thank you all very much for watching. And ciao for now. Ciao for now. Unit engaging.